Hey guys, Dr. Arun Deer here. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to talk about gastroesophageal reflux or heartburn after gastric sleeve surgery. See, gastric sleeve or sleeve gastrectomy as it is commonly called has become a really popular weight loss operation. And there are really some good things going for it without a doubt. This operation has taken over gastric bypass in the United States and was the most commonly performed weight loss surgical procedure almost all across Europe and also United States for the year 2018. Now that's a big thing because in the United States bypass was considered to be the gold standard. The good thing which really attracts people to the gastric sleeve is number one, there is no foreign body which is being used. The other important thing is the fact that the body handles the food in the same passage or in the same way nature made it, which is going from the food pipe into the stomach and into the small bowel. It does not involve any rerouting like that needs to be done in gastric bypass. And this is also a very effective operation when we talk about controlling portion size, which is a big challenge for many people. I think sleeve overall stands out really well in the long term as well, even though it's a relatively new operation. The one thing that does come up from time to time in discussions, in studies and in discussions with patients and then at conferences uh, between surgeons and other people who are involved in this operation is the issue of reflux or gastroesophageal reflux disease, as it is medically called, after a gastric sleeve surgery. Now, as you probably know that in gastric sleeve, we are making the size of the stomach like a long narrow tube. So cutting it about 60 to 70% of the stomach and making it into a long tube. What happens in that case is because stomach is designed to make acid and when we reduce the volume, the pressure goes up. And whenever there is a high pressure in a tubular structure, it wants to come out either the top end or it wants to go out the bottom end, which is the pylorus, which is where the stomach joins with the small bowel. Now, when this acid starts to come back up in large volumes, that's when it starts to manifest with the individual as heartburn. Or there are some, some typical features of heartburn, such as you know the burning sensation that is felt in the sternal area, just behind the breastbone, which is classical, or sometimes it goes up into the mouth, creating that sour taste but often there are also some atypical features of gastroesophageal reflux which can manifest as you know constant coughing or the need to clear your throat constantly or sometimes in individuals they might experience features of asthma which is not getting better by taking the inhaler so those are the things that are called atypical symptoms also included in that category is hoarseness of voice so one thing that comes up is that what is the risk of this long-standing reflux that can develop after a sleeve gastrectomy? And one of the things that I often come across is the question around development of Barrett's esophagus. Now Barrett's is a condition which can be looked at as a precursor to development of cancer, cancer of the esophagus. What happens here is that because of long-standing reflux, there is this constant burn that is created in the food pipe, which initially starts to manifest as, you know, the typical symptoms that we described. But over a period of time, the inner lining starts to change because it's a protective mechanism to save the esophagus from this onslaught of acid coming back up. And that is what the change of the inner lining is called the Barrett's. Now, Barrett's changing into cancer is a long drawn process as well. So what is most important is to keep an eye out for reflux. And if you have developed reflux or if you are experiencing symptoms of heartburn and you know, the other atypical symptoms that I just described, the safest thing that we recommend is to get it checked out. The checking process is uh, by way of a procedure called as endoscopy. It's a day procedure come in, get the endoscopy done, we take photos and biopsies, and that is what allows us to ascertain whether there is any progression or not. 
We generally recommend that even if you did not have any symptoms of gastroesophageal reflux after your gastric sleeve, any of those symptoms that I've described, it's a safe uh, uh, you know, strategy to get it checked at least once in five years. I also want to mention that uh, weight loss surgery is a very good alternative or it's a good treatment option for treating your gastroesophageal reflux as well because gastroesophageal reflux happens when there is excess amount of fat which is collected around the middle part, around the tummy, so there is a lot of pressure, mechanical pressure for stuff to go up back into the esophagus, but also if there is a valve which is present at the point where the food pipe joins the stomach, if that valve is loose, that is something that can also cause reflux to happen. And this is something that we actively look for during the time of surgery. And if it is loose, a medical condition called as a hiatus hernia, we actually repair that. And that's where the benefit of surgery comes, that that actually, both the weight loss and the repair of the hiatus hernia can actually improve the reflux. So what I'm trying to get at is that your reflux may develop after surgery, which is a new onset reflux, in which case it will need to be treated. But if your reflux symptoms are good, then still our recommendation is that after a sleep, get it checked out once every five years for your own peace of mind. I hope this video has been helpful and uh, I wish you a very, very long and a happy and a prosperous life. Take care and all the best.